friends! My name is Meredith. I'm a librarian with Buncombe County Public Library, and I'm here to do a story time for you today. First, we're going to read Big Chew by Stephen Shaston, and I would like to say thank you to Scholastic for giving me permission to read this book for you today. Let's get started. Early in the morning, Little Chew and Papa Pufferbelly rolled down by the station. Little Chew's boiler bubbled. It was going to be a big day. Little Chew always wanted to be just like his papa, brave, fast, and strong. Papa, Papa, I'm ready to ride the main line today. Are you sure, Little Chew? asked his papa. Little Chew puffed up his chest. He knew the main line wasn't for little trains. I'm not Little Chew, he said. I'm Big Chew, like you, Papa. Ding, ding. Okay, Big Chew, full steam ahead, said Papa. Clickety-clack. For the first time, Big Chew rolled off the little loop and switched on to the main line. I'm brave, Papa. Watch me roll over this old bridge all by myself. And even though the river rushed below, Big Chew kept his pilot straight and pushed on. Chugga 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 chugga. And Papa Pufferbelly cheered. Choo choo. I'm faster than a speeding bullet train, Papa. Big Chew primed his pistons. Catch me if you can. Chugga 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 chugga. And Papa Pufferbelly cheered. Choo choo. I'm strong too, Papa, said Big Chew. Even my tender is tough. Watch me haul this freight. Big Chew cranked his engine in reverse and coupled up to a line of freight cars. Clink clink. Chugga 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 chugga. And Papa Pufferbelly cheered. Choo-choo! Big Chew was brave, fast, and strong, just like his papa. His big day was chugging along without a hitch. I bet I can haul all these freight cars up that humongous mountain. That's quite a load, said Papa. Are you sure you're ready? I'm sure, Papa. I'm Big Chew. Big Chew pushed his throttle forward and charged up the mountain as fast as he could go. Chugga 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 chugga. And Papa Pufferbelly cheered. Choo choo. Screech! <gasps> Big Chew's wheels slipped. He started sliding backward. He lost control. Oh no! Big Chew derailed! Oh no! Papa Pufferbelly raced to his son. Are you okay, Big Chew? Papa, I'm not Big Chew, sniffed the young train. I'm just Little Chew. You are brave, fast, strong, and smart, said Papa. Don't let a little tumble ruin your big day. Full steam ahead. Big Chew puffed up his chest. Maybe I just need to take my time. Let's get you back on track, said Papa. Big Chew headed back up the mountain again. Chugga 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 chugga. And Papa Pufferbelly cheered. Choo choo. Big Chew's pumps puffed hard. Poof, poof, poof. His coupling cringed but his wheels held strong. Chugga, 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 chugga. And Papa Pufferbelly cheered. Choo, choo. Big Chew made it to the top of the mountain. It was a big day for Big Chew. He was brave, strong, and smart, just like his Papa. Now watch me go into that scary dark tunnel. 
Let's save that for another day, said Papa Pufferbelly. And Big Chew and Papa Pufferbelly rolled back home. Good night, Papa. Good night, Big Chew. The end. All right. Thanks for listening. I'm going to teach you a song called Little Red Caboose. It goes like this, and I've got my little red caboose. Now would be a good time to stand up and stretch your body and get some wiggles out or jump around while we sing. Um, or if you'd rather stay seated with me, that is fine too. So here's how it goes. Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train, 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 smokestack on its back, going down the track. Little red caboose behind the train. Choo choo! <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train. Train, 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 smokestack on his back, going down the track. Little red caboose behind the train. Choo choo! All right, let's do it a little faster. Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train, 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 smokestack on his back, going down the track. Little red caboose behind the train, choo choo. All right, do you think we can do it even faster? Are you wiggling? Are you jumping? Can you wiggle faster? <laughs> let's let's try it again. Ready? Little red caboose. Little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train, 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 smokestack on his back, going down the track. Little red caboose behind the train, choo choo. Do you think we can do it faster than that? Let's try one more time. Ready? Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train, 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 smokestack on his back, going down the track. Little red caboose behind the train, choo choo. <laughs> All right. Great job, friends. So if you were standing up and moving around, um, you can sit back down now if you want. We're going to read another book. It is called Stars. Stars is by Mary Lynn Ray and Marla Frazzi. And I would like to say thank you to Simon and Schuster for giving me permission to read this to you today. A star is how you know it's almost night. As soon as you see one, there's another and another. And the dark that comes doesn't feel so dark. What if you could have a star? They shine like little silver eggs you could gather in a basket. Except you know you can't. Not really. But you can draw a star on a shiny paper and cut around it. Then you can put it in your pocket. Having a star in your pocket is like having your best rock in your pocket, but different because a star is different from a rock. Pin a star on your shirt and you can be sheriff. Put a star on a stick and you've made a wand. If you hold a wand the right way, you might see a wish come true. Not always, only sometimes. You never know about a wish. You can give a star to a friend, but never give away the one you keep in your pocket. You need to know it's there. Some days you feel shiny as a star. If you've done something important, people may call you a star. But some days you don't feel shiny. Those days it's good to reach for the one in your pocket. If you ever lose your star, you can draw another. Or you can find one. There are places. 
moss, where you might see fairies, is made of green stars. White stars in June grass become strawberries in July. Yellow stars on pumpkin vines become October pumpkins. Snowflakes are stars. Blow a ball of dandelion and you blow a thousand stars into the sky. A button can have a star on it. And if you always brush your teeth, someone might give you a red or green or blue or gold or silver star. There might be a star on your calendar to mark a special day. But stars that come with night, for those you have to wait for night. You need some dark to see them. It may help to have on pajamas. Then you look up. Almost always you will find one. And another, and another, and another. And if sometimes you can't see them, they're still there. Every night, everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for listening. So now we're going to sing a song about a star that I think you may know. Now would be another good time to stand up and move around if you'd like to. Or if you're more comfortable staying seated with me, that is fine too. We're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, that is such a good song. I think we should sing it again. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, thanks for singing with me. All right, so let's read. I have one more book for us. It is called Five Little Ducks by Denise Fleming. And I would like to say thank you again to Simon and Schuster for giving permission for me to read this today. Five little ducks. Can you show me your five fingers? All right. Five little ducks went out Monday Through the woods and far away Papa Duck called quack, 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 quack But only four little ducks came back See your four. Four little ducks went out Tuesday over the hills and far away. Papa Duck called quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. See your three. Three little ducks went out Wednesday past the paddock and far away. Papa Duck called quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. See 
in the sea. Two little ducks went out Thursday across the fields and far away. Papa Duck called quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out Friday down the road and far away. Papa Duck called quack, 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 but no little ducks came back. Aww. Papa Duck went out Saturday, sad his little ducks were away. So Papa Duck called, quack, 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 and all his little ducks came back. Yay! All the little duckies are home. <laughs> all right, friends. Give me just a second here. We're going to sing one more song together before I go. And that is our goodbye song, which goes like this. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, I hope to see you soon. All right, friends, thank you for being with me today, and I hope to see you again very soon.